आप संतोष आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ स्पीड ऑफ साउंड इन एयर फ्रॉम कोर्स नंबर पी एच वन वन जीरो फिजिक्स लेबोरेटरी कोर्स फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू द प्रोसीजर एंड देन वन कैन कलेक्ट डेटा फॉर इट्स फर्दर कैलकुलेशन बाई ऑब्जर्विंग दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट to perform this experiment we require a function generator from which we will get sine wave output a cro to display it an optical rail with posts for placement of a speaker and microphone one speaker as we can see we have made some arrangement to connect it through bnc cable one microphone a customized cable which is connected from a microphone to bnc cable a t connector of bnc and bnc to bnc cable one pair we will take sine wave out from channel 1 of this function generator we will perform our experiment from frequency 2 kilohertz to 3 kilohertz we will take our observations at five different frequencies as we can see the frequency is set right now at 2 kilohertz and amplitude is set at 1 volt peak to peak we have connected our t connector to channel 1 of this function generator we have connected one bnc cable from this t connector to channel x of cro with the help of another bnc cable from t connector the speaker is connected with the help of customized cable the microphone is connected at channel y of cro by pressing the output button from this function generator we can see the input signal at cro as we can see a speaker and microphone are placed at optical rail the speaker will act as transmitter and microphone is acting as receiver by selecting channel 1 in cro we are observing the input signal by selecting the channel 2 in cro we are observing the received signal by the microphone by selecting the dual mode we can observe the two waves simultaneously to perform this experiment we have to superpose these two waves for that we will minimize the time scale division and go in xy mode now in xy mode we are getting lissajous pattern which is elliptical in shape as we can see by moving this microphone away from our speaker we can see the elliptical pattern is changing in a straight line we have to take care of the position of microphone at this time again if we will move further we can see a uh, ellipse is coming and again a straight line is coming at certain distance with the different slope which is right now positive we have to take care of this position of microphone also by taking the observations at this these straight lines we can get our readings the first position will describe l1 and the second position will describe l2 and the difference of these two will give us half of wavelength so now this is the procedure now we will start our data collection frequency is at 2 kilohertz and amplitude is at 1 volt peak to peak we will take three sets of reading for different frequencies for set 1 we are moving our microphone away from a speaker and we are getting a straight line over here the position of microphone will describe l1 the position of a speaker on optical rail is fixed at 2 cm we are getting the microphone position l1 at frequency 2 kilohertz in set 1 at 25.2 cm to get position of l2 we will move further back our microphone and we are getting a straight line this time it is in positive slope here as we can see 
for position of L2 in set 1, the microphone position is at 33.8 cm. For second set, we are starting again and we are moving the microphone away and we are getting a straight line over here on CRO. The L1 position of microphone is at 25 cm. To define L2, we are moving back the microphone and we are getting a straight line over here with positive slope. We are getting the microphone position L2 at 33.8 cm. Now for third set at frequency 2 kHz, we are moving the microphone and we are getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting our L1 position at 25.1 cm. To define position of L2, we are moving away the microphone and we are getting a straight line with positive slope over here. We are getting the microphone position L2 at 33.6 cm on optical rail. Now we set the frequency at 2.2 kHz. For first set of reading to get the L1 position, we are moving microphone back and we are getting a straight line here with negative slope. We are getting the L1 position at 20.5 cm. To get L2, we are moving back our microphone and we are getting a straight line over here with positive slope. For L2, we are getting the position of microphone at 28.1 cm. For second set, to define position of L1, we are moving our microphone and a straight line with negative slope is here. The L1 position of microphone is at 20.4 cm. To get L2 of this set, we are moving back our microphone and we are getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 27.9 cm. For third set, we are moving back our microphone and getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L1 position at 20.7 cm. To get L2 position, we are moving the microphone back again and we are getting a straight line here. This will define L2. We are getting L2 position of microphone at 28.4 cm. The frequency is set at 2.5 kHz now. At 2.5 kHz for set 1, the L1 position we are getting here as a straight line is appearing here. We are getting the L1 position at 19.7 cm. To get L2, we are moving microphone back and we are getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting our L2 position of microphone at 26.5 cm. To describe set 2 L1 position, we are moving the microphone back and we are getting straight line here. In set 2, we are getting L1 position of microphone at 19.5 cm. To get L2 position, we are moving the microphone back and we are getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 26.5 cm. To define set 2, 3 L1 position, we are moving the microphone back and we are getting a straight line with negative slope here. In third set, we are getting the L1 position of microphone at 19.8 cm. To get the L2 position, we are moving back the microphone and getting a straight line here with positive slope. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 26.3 cm. 
the frequency is set at 2.8 kilohertz now to get the l1 position we are moving the microphone back and we are getting a straight line with positive slope here in first set at frequency 2.8 kilohertz we are getting the l1 position of microphone at 26.5 centimeter to define L2 position, we are moving back the microphone and getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 32.8 centimeter. Now to get L1 position in second set, we are moving back the microphone and getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting the L1 position in set 2 at 26.3 cm. To define L2 position, we are moving further back our microphone and getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 32.4 cm. To get the observations of set 3, we are again moving the microphone and we are getting a straight line for L1 position with positive slope. In third set, we are getting the L1 position of microphone at 26.1 cm. To get the L2 position, we are moving back the microphone and we are getting a straight line with negative slope, slope here. We are getting the L2 position of microphone at 32 cm on optical rail. The frequency of function generated is set at 3 kHz now. At 3 kHz, to get the L1 position in set 1, we are moving back the microphone and we are getting a straight line here, which will define the L1. At frequency 3 kHz in set 1, the L1 position of microphone is at 25.5 cm on optical rail. To define L2, we are moving back the microphone again and we are getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L2 position at 31.5 cm. To get the L1 position in set 2, we are moving the microphone back and we are getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting the L1 position of microphone at 25.7 cm. To get the L2, we are moving back the microphone and we are getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L2 position at 31.4 cm. Now the third site at frequency 3 kHz to obtain L1 position again we are moving back and getting a straight line with positive slope here. We are getting the L1 position at 25.4 cm. To get the L2 position we are moving back the microphone and we are getting a straight line with negative slope here. We are getting the L2 position at 31 centimeter. Now we will plot a graph lambda versus 1 by nu and from slope of that straight line got in that graph one can get the speed of sound in air. Hence, with the help of laboratory manual and the observed data in this video, one can calculate the speed of sound in air and prepare the laboratory report. Thank you.